I'm here with Ray Missigman, and we're going to be making artful cuffs, right? Yes, and we're going to alter These are beautiful them. bracelets. Thank you. Um, we're going to do a couple different things using some acrylic inks and uh, a technique to Let's really get them moving it. around. Okay, so I'm just taking a store-bought cuff. And this is a leather cuff. Correct. But of course mm -hmm. you could do this on... You could use it on a heavy duty canvas. You could do any kind of material that would absorb the ink and move around. Um, I like the leather because the movement is much better on it. And now you're just taking a series of these acrylic inks and you're putting out a drop. I mean, this is a drop. Literally, if. a drop or two. And the quicker you mist it, the more movement you'll get. Do you just have water in here? Correct, okay. this water. And then you can either move it around on your table surface to get it to drip, or you can take a straw and hold it away and kind of blow the ink around. I love this idea, and of course, we obviously have our table right. protected and stuff, so the so ink doesn't get everywhere. So you want to make everywhere. sure you have a surface that mm -hmm. does that. Now, the more ink you use, the easier it is to get it to move, as you'll see. And are you, if you picked your color palette out way ahead of time? Um, no, I like to really mix the colors up, as you can see on this one, and then at the end, I go back in and add some white over the top, and then we'll fill in with some marks, but I like that um, it allows you to kind of use an unorthodox combination of colors. I was gonna say, colors. can we? Yeah, give it a try. And so you can see it move, and it's nice to let it go over the edges too, mm -hmm. because then you get a little color on the edge of your cuff. Which I think is a neat idea. I'm just playing with your project yes. now to put stuff on here. So will you go ahead and blow? Yeah. Now can you put more than one color down at a time? Like if I Absolutely. put green into this yellow, You're is gonna something get a new color, gonna right. happen? And then and we can just go ahead. And you can see them ahead. mixing like that. Mm -hmm. And also if you get to where they're not moving a lot, you can add more water. See how you get the marble yeah, effect. Yeah, I love that marble right. effect. So if you spray right. it with water, what's gonna happen? You'll Let's see, see that. It'll fan it out a little bit, and oh, then cool. you have a chance to move it around even more. That's so neat, See, and so you just keep neat? layering it up. Right. And what do you, uh, do you heat set it or anything like yes. that? So now, if I wanted to move along quickly, you can see this one's already almost dry. You can use a heat tool on the leather and it will set it almost immediately. And that's so that you can quickly now, if you wanted to, add that nice opaque white, white. on top. Look how white that is, I love that. And then See? of course, blow it around right. for some more and fun. And the other thing is, if you use the water, yeah. it's gonna not give you as clean of lines as this. And the harder you blow, the more fanned out and long the fingers of your paint will get. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm ready to play the trumpet there. now. <laughs> so you get a nice little fingerling or pool, and that also helps in the drying time because it thins the paint out. That's so awesome. But I know we're not done yet because it wouldn't no. be a Ray Missigman project unless we lay it. Unless we had some marks on it. Exactly. So here's a few that have um, a lot of layers of the paint. Oops. Up. Oops. And you can go back in once these are dry and also continue to add more, like if you wanted to let it sit overnight. But you can take a permanent marker. I have a black one here today, but you can use white. You can use um, any color that you have. I and think just gold start. would be nice because yes. I like a little bit of bling. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely, any metallic. The only thing is that you didn't want to use like a, a gel type of pen because they will really um, smear Still real and reactivate. So you, you right. want something that's going to be permanent forever. And that's another reason for acrylic ink because basically if people don't know, acrylic ink is a permanent ink. Exactly. Right. And you may want, I'm a mark maker, so I like to just fill in with basic marks. But you could come in and fill these areas in with a sketch or a floral. This is a time to get doodly do crazy. Exactly. And I know that I have one here where you have done exactly that. We are right. doodly all over. And one of the things that's so interesting is if I look at two of these side mm -hmm. by side, I can tell that what you've done is you've really doodled mostly in the areas where the leather was exposed exactly. and left these parts alone. Filled along. it in. Yeah, right. it's almost like a coloring book, but instead of coloring, you're it's doodling. Reverse. Right. So another neat thing you can do is if you want to alter this cuff, and that's what happened to me, is it was too big um, when I snapped it. So I wanted to come up with a way that I could make it more of a custom size. And to do that, you can just cut the snaps off and add a new closure to it. And actually, you're gonna show us how we can add a tassel to it, and the method for adding a new closure is the same as adding Abs a tassel. Exactly. So let's go ahead and put that tassel okay. on. So you would take um, your cuff, and once it's completely dry, you would just need a heavy duty punch. And um, for the eyelet I have, I'm gonna use a little bit bigger size. And I would just come down near one of the ends and punch a hole, and it'll leave you with a nice clean hole. Now you could add your O-ring and your tassel right to that because leather won't fray. But if you wanted to take it 
one step further, you could set an eyelet in it. Which is just a nice way to add a finishing touch, to add exactly. some more color. They sell colored eyelets of all kinds. All kinds. They sell shaped eyelets. Right. I mean, there's just so many possibilities for that. And then you can take an O-ring and open it up. And I happen to have these that are very pliable, mm -hmm. but if you need to, you can use jewelry pliers and you can just Slip put it that through. in. Yep. And now you got a little extra something yeah. special on your on cuff. On your cuff. It's absolutely and fabulous. And and you I was going to say, if I just quickly look at your yes. wrist right here, I can see that you have just put in an eyelet and you're right. using simply one of these clips, right. a smaller one, of course, to go with the head through and link that together. So that right. is a great way to customize yes. your cuff. Thanks so much, Ray. You're this welcome. has been great.